you were a tour guide for a day here and you had open access to any space on this lot, where would you want to go? Well, my tour golf cart would have the ability to time travel so that I could go back to the late 1930s or early 40s and go to the costume and makeup department when they used to do everything in the building. That would be magical to see it all happen there. Rather than now, it happens all in trailers. Your wrinkles. What happened to your wrinkles? I would want to go to a place that I actually just got to see recently, which is Clint Eastwood's bungalow for his Malpaso Productions. He's got great artifacts from his career, and he has a cute little piano in there, too. Well, you're going to pull those pistols and whistle Dixie. I would go to the commissary because there's a Paquito Moss there, and I think, <laughs> God, I've been Bogart with this Paquito Moss, you know? <laughs> I was wandering around here, I don't know, five years ago, something like that, and I passed, I guess, what was the old writer's building. It feels like the right spot, at least for me to be. Well, for me, it really is the commissary. Like, isn't that where the deals happened? Isn't that where the producers and the directors and the actors would kind of come together? And then that amazing scene in Blazing Saddles, the big pie fight. This is our studio commissary. That's what I think every Hollywood commissary ought to accommodate at some point. Tons of extras in costume and then with pie all over it. <laughs> well, I'm going to meet Ben at the writer's building because that's exactly where I'm going to go. Follow me. I want to time travel and sort out who actually wrote what. And then, of course, I want to be in the writer's building when they always break and pile into the car and drive over the hill to Musso and Frank for their, <laughs> for their liquid lunch. That's you know? what it was leading towards. <laughs> yeah, I knew yeah, it was yeah. going someplace. Okay. Okay.